Hello everyone. This video is for 8th class chapter 1 rational numbers and in this video we are going to discuss the problems from exercise 1.3 question number 9, 10 and 11. Here is your 9th question. What number should minus 33 by 16 be divided by to get minus 11 by 4? Okay. So the question is very simple. What number, whenever a question is given in this way, you should take that number as x. Okay. What number should minus 33 by 16 be divided by? Okay. So, it should be divided by this one. And your answer should be means it will be equal to. Okay. So, whenever you don't know the number, let me take that number as x. Okay. Now, by the given condition, he gave that what number should be divided. So, I took x. So, x should be divided with this number. To get minus 11 by 4. Okay. Now here when you don't know the number. When it is a variable. We cannot do the division for that one. So whenever a division is there between two rational numbers. Then you should put here into instead of division. And write the next fraction as reciprocal. Okay. So if it is x. I should write 1 by x. Okay. Into 1 by x. If it is 2 by 3. I should write if it is divided by 2 by 3, I should put into and I should write as 3 by 2. Okay, just putting, uh, changing the division symbol to into and converting the fraction as reciprocal. Okay, this already we discussed in the uh, smaller classes. Okay, so here instead of division, I should put into and I should write as 1 by x because reciprocal of x is 1 by x equals to minus 11 by 4 and this will be same as it is. Okay, now here. You multiply this or you can shift this one here. Okay, you are wish you can multiply these two numerators or you can shift this minus 33 by 16. Here it is multiplying. Whenever multiplication goes there, it becomes division. Okay, I can do in both the process. So here I shifted this. So here when it is multiplying with 1 by x. So when it is shifted there, transposed there, it becomes Reciprocal. So, 16 will be in the numerator and 33 will be in the denominator. But don't do mistake in changing the symbol. Whenever into a division are uh, transposed to the other side, their symbols will not change. Their symbols will be as it is. Okay. So, let us go to the next step of this one. So, here is your next step. 1 by x equals to minus 11 by 4 into minus 16 by 33. Okay. Now, here in between you have into. So, you can cancel the numerators and denominators if they are of same multiples. Okay. Multiple of same numbers. So, I can cancel this 4 ones are 4 fours are. And here 11 ones I can write and 11 threes I can do. Right. So, 4 ones, 4 fours, 11 ones, 11 threes, 4 ones, 4 fours. Okay. Now, here I should multiply the respective numbers. 1 into 4 is 4 because under they are under multiplication. Okay, 4 I got. And in the denominator, 1 into 3 is 3. Okay, and here the symbols are also very important. Minus into minus is plus. Okay, so you got 1 by x equal to plus 4 by 3. But we want the number. Our number is x, right? But we have 1 by x here. Simple, 1 by x is if you want, if you want to write 1 by x as x, you should reciprocal this one. Just converting the fraction. So, it will be 3 by 4. Okay. So, this is the number which we are dividing with. Okay. So, 3 by 4 is your number. Let us go to the next problem. Here is a next question. If 36 rows of equal sizes can be stitched with 64 meters of cloth, what is the length of the cloth required for each trouser? Means for one trouser. Okay. Simple, he gave one condition that if the total length of the cloth is 64 meters, you can stitch 36 trousers with that length of cloth. But if I asked only for one trouser, how much cloth is required means you should find out this answer. Okay, this is unitary method. Let me take one example like you went to shop and you want to buy 10 chocolates. Okay, uncle, please give me 10 chocolates. Then he uncle asked to give 30 rupees. Okay, so 30 rupees you gave. Then you asked in your mind by yourself that what is the cost of one chocolate so that my total cost will be 30 rupees. Then you should do in this way. 30 is the total cost of the chocolate and 10 chocolates. 
so you want 10 chocolates here so you should divide your number of chocolates with this cost okay so 10 ones 10 threes okay so this is the cost of each chocolate means one chocolate cost is 3 rupees so that i'll get 10 chocolates for 30 rupees okay In the same way here total length is 64 and you want you uh, can stitch 36 trousers with this one so i should divide 64 and 36 right so let me take the statements 36 trousers of equal sizes can be stitched with 64 meters of cloth then the length of the cloth required for each trouser is 64 by 36 okay so it is divisible by four table so four sixteens 64 and four nines 36 okay now you divide 9 with 16 so 16 with 9 so 9 ones 9 and here you will get the remainder as 7 so i can write in mixed fraction so 1 7 by 9 so it is 1 7 by 9 here the units of the cloth is meters so i can write this in meters okay here is your 11th problem when the repeating decimal 0 0.3636 so on is written in the simplest fractional form p by q find the sum of p plus q okay so here it is very very important here repeating decimal means he gave 0 0.3636 so you can confirm here 3636 is repeating okay whenever it is repeating we should write bar to it okay so both 3636 are repeating so i can give bar for both 36 okay this is finished now he asked you to convert it into fractional form how it is converted into the fractional form when you multiply when you take this one as x and you multiply both with depending on the periodicity then you can convert this into a rational form after getting into rational form whatever you got in numerator and denominator you just add them to get p plus q okay so let me take this given question decimal as uh, x okay so now here as the continuity numbers are 2 then i can say the periodicity is 2 okay let me take this one as equation 1 here periodicity means what is meant by periodicity here both when both are uh, repeating when both two digits are repeating then i can say it as periodicity 2 if only 333 three, three is repeating then i can say periodicity is 1 okay so when periodicity is 2 you should multiply with two zeros so two zeros number is 100 okay when periodicity is 3 you should multiply with 1000 what we should multiply this equation this equation on both the sides you multiply with 100 if periodicity is 2 and should multiply with 1000 if periodicity is 3 and with 10 with 1 when periodicity is 1 okay 1 means 1 0 so it will be 10 2 means 100 so 2 zeros 3 means 1000 so 3 zeros understood so here 100 into x will get 100x this one no need to confuse sick children simple here two zeros are there so you shift two digits before the decimal that's it when three digits are there you shift three digits before the decimal here i have two zeros so i should shift the two digits before the decimal in proper way in the same uh, pattern in the same uh, arrangement so three will be first and six will be next so 36 in point 36 36 36 so on okay now let me take this one as equation two now to get p by q form we should uh, subtract equation one from 2. So, your equation 2 is 100x, right? 100x equal 36.3636, so on. And your equation 1 is x. So, x equal to 0 0.3636, so on. We should subtract them, okay? So, subtraction will be always done from this way. So, here 0, here 0, 0, here 0, it will get 36, okay? So, 36 and here 100 minus 1 is 99, okay? So, 99x. Okay, after decimal, if you have any zeros, no need of taking that zeros. Okay, so I can write 99x equal to 36. When I when this 99, when multiplying with x, it goes there as division. Okay, now I can do the cancellation here. So, 9 fours, 9 elevens. So, this is simplest form. We cannot further divide it. So, I can write x equal to 4 by 11. And this is your p by q form. P, q. 
so p is 4 q is 11 now he asked you to do the addition of p and q right so i can add both of them so 4 plus 11 equal to 15 so this is your summation of the fraction of the rational number okay i hope you understood this video if you understand please practice them give a like share my video and subscribe the channel thank you